There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Hi guys, it's Jackie here. It's time for another painting, and this time I'm going to do a good old Dutch pour. I haven't done one for a while. I've been looking up at my walls at all the Dutch pours. And all I've been doing is bloom, 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 bloom. So guess what? Time to go back to Dutch boars. And I'm using piggies, which I haven't often used in Dutch boars because when I was doing them, I didn't have piggies. Uh, so I'm going to use the sapphire. I've put the stickers, I've taken them off the bottom and put them on the top just so I can see them at a glance without having to um, lift them up. So yes, we've got sapphire, emerald and glisten, which has an interference green blue shift. Isn't that easy? And I have mixed those with a little bit of Joe Sonia varnish to disperse them in. So until they're all melted away beautifully, no little crystals left lying around into a nice little syrup. And then I add, oh, I better get it out so you can have a look at it, I suppose. Um, where did I put it? No, not too far away plus you can use any brand um it's basically just the gloss gel um you can use golden regular gloss gel um you can use liquitex um i think i used the oh here it is the liquitex last time liquitex Liquitex Gloss Gel Medium. So you put a bit of that in next. So about 25% that and 75% Floetrol. Now, of course, I use Aussie Floetrol because I'm an Aussie and that's all I can get. Um, so there will be a lot of cells in my Dutch pores for that reason. Um, and there will be a lot of shimmer, baby. Because look what's next. <laughs> Deco Art 24 karat gold. Love it. And a bit of Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple. So we've got a good colour combination here. Now, where did I get that from, you might ask? I got it from Gina DeLuca's cards. Go make some art with Gina DeLuca, Fluid Art Inspirational Cards. So you've probably seen her advertising them. They basically have a technique written at the top with the video number that she has on YouTube, a picture of the result that she got with her Dutch paw, and um, a little description, and the colours. So there's the colours, and as you can see, I've gone with, well, we're going to do um, white as the base. We've got the 24 karat gold, we've got the emerald, uh, we've got the sapphire, and we've got the diox purple. She even uses the exact Liquitex diox purple, but all her other brands are different. And I thought I'd throw in the glisten, just as an extra. Um, so that's it. And I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I will have flooded my 40 by 80 centimeter, which is that many inches canvas. I will have flooded it with this. Araldo de Palo white. Not titanium white, just Plain old white, but it turns out all right. I've used it before. All right, so when I come back, that'll be flooded and we can get on with the colours. 
All right, good stuff. See you soon. Righto, we're back and we are white. Alrighty, and I've decided the first colour is going to be Diox Purple. And I think because I haven't done one for a while, I'm just going to do a good old uh, 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 with a couple of wispies. It's a nice big canvas, so there's no reason we can't have wispies going like up there. And down there. Something like that. A little bit more paint. Because I've got a lot of white on there. I won't be putting any extra white on, that's for sure. It's sunk. The colours are sinking. But that's okay. And then I was going to put the glisten on next. Did I say that I put the um, flow troll in after I put the, I don't even think I did, with the piggies, after I put in um, the gel gloss and mix it up, I put in flow troll. Oh, I did because I remember saying about how it's Aussie flow troll because that's all I can get. Okay, now I'm putting the sapphire on. My memory's so bad at the moment. Uh, call it chemo brain, call it what you will. But if that's the only side effect I'm going to have from chemo, I'll be pretty happy about that. Three weeks in. No side effects. Touch wood. Golly gosh, touch wood. Now, not too much gold, because we know what happens with 24 karat gold, don't we? It takes over. But it does. One more colour to go. Emerald. Such a beautiful emerald too, because it's it's got that piggy shimmer. These are colours that I wouldn't have chosen myself because I always like to put, you know, pink. I always get, you know, pink, 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 <laughs> especially in um, a Dutch pour. Like, I love to put all the colours in, all my favourite colours. And turquoise, like, I've got no turquoise in this painting. Okay, we need a flamethrower. This one's working better, so we'll use that. Get rid of all our bubbles. Even in the white, because I didn't get rid of those earlier. And as I said, I'm not going to put... Sometimes I put some white paint around the outside, as you might have seen others like Rinse, Godonna and that do. Um, but because... I did put quite a bit of white paint on as a base. I am not going to because I'll dull my colours out too much. As well as dulling them out, it's quite possible that um, the painting could crack, I suppose, if I end up with too much paint on there. All right, here we go for the blowout.
the colors. I've got a big gap in here, but it, these two are joining. It doesn't matter, like I've learned over the time that I don't like them to be perfect. But the cells aren't coming up like I thought they would. Let's give her another little torch. Okay, she's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do is touch up my edges and come back to you with a close-up. Alrighty, see you soon. Rightio, coming in for a close-up on this Dutch paw. I call it purple. <laughs> it's pretty purple. Okay, it's supposed to be purple, green, navy, blue and gold yeah. and shimmery very veiny with the purple and the white and there's some nice cells there with the emerald and the, oh look at that one it's a cell with blue gold and green love it Sorry about the shadow. And then we've got more cells. I just, there's a bit much white. I think I just put too much white down. And there's a bit much white mixed through all the petals. I think that's my problem. I like solid colour. Solid colour like that. See, some of it didn't blow out like that. And some of it blew out with the white i think i'm out of practice that's what i'm gonna put it down to oh look at that that purple's come out nice there hasn't it i don't mind the purple mixed with the white because it's makes it for a nice color especially with the shimmer of the gold through it so there's some nice parts that's a nice part each to their own. Everyone's going to like different bits of it. That's a nice bit there right on the end. Alrighty, so there you have it. Thanks guys. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you get to know when the next one is. Okay, bye. Should I do an intro or shouldn't I do an intro? Well, if you're going to do one, Jackie, you've got to do it this way. Otherwise, YouTube won't like it. Uh, I've got a new camera stand there in the back, the black one. That's my painting I've just done. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I was in the mood to put my face on today, but I know I haven't been on for a while, so... I thought I'd better say hi uh, to all my 200 and something fans. Oh man, I would love to have a thousand would be my dream. You know, I'm not greedy. I'm not going for a hundred thousand. Just one thousand. I would love that very much. So share it with your friends, guys. Share me around. Get me subbed. Okay. Bye.
soon as.